Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift, we're featuring Dr. Doris Day. She's a trend-setting leading dermatologist right here in New York City. She specializes in laser cosmetic and surgical dermatology and is a clinical associate professor of dermatology at Langone Medical Center. She was most recently named by Newsweek as the top number three cosmetic dermatologist in the U.S. She is author of four books and host of her award-winning dermatology show on Dr. Radio on Sirius XM. This year, Skincare doesn't solely focus on addressing the signs of aging. It's going to try to make cells behave younger. And exosomes are at the heart of it all. They're a kind of regenerative ingredient and are in fact a stem cell secretion, but they're also a buzzword on their own. Exosome injections are the next generation of in-office treatments for making skin act younger. They're extracted from living cells, namely stem cells, and their components, which are peptides, amino acids, and lipids, are supposed to signal skin cells to communicate, regenerate, and repair. Here to break it all down for us is the good doctor, Dr. Doris Day, chatting how exosomes are redefining skincare, how carbon dioxide therapy can promote hair rejuvenation, its latest applications and use cases. Welcoming now to the show is the incredible Dr. Doris Day. Welcome to the show, Stunner. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. And thanks for that beautiful introduction. I appreciate it. So excited to have you on. All right. Well, let's dive right in. This is exactly what you love talking about. You have your very own show that focuses exactly on this. Congratulations on being named the number three top cosmetic dermatologist in the U.S. by Newsweek. That is a major accolade. How does this recognition reflect your commitment to your patients and the field of dermatology? Well, it's always an honor to be recognized. I kind of wish all of those things would go away because I think there's so many great doctors out there. And I love being a doctor. I, I think it's an honor and a privilege. I come from a family of doctors and I, I think it's really lifelong learning. And I, I, I hope that that reflects my commitment to it, but I would do it the same even without them saying so. <laughs> so I really, um, I, I think longevity is something that we need to focus on and longevity beauty is a reflection of our general health and well-being so as a dermatologist i focus on the skin because people are connected to it i know that appearance has value and when you do treatments or don't do treatments whatever you project in the world you're communicating something about yourself so i want to help people understand not just how to look better but actually how to be better and to make those connections because I see the difference when somebody comes in and they get some information or a treatment and then they go out and they make better life decisions because of it. They quit smoking. They eat better. They change their relationships. All of that is because their sense of confidence is better. And so the skin communicates so much and the hair. Um, so I try to put it all together, but I love what I do and I love learning and I love sharing what I know. You do such a good job at it, and you have created such a nice roadmap to balance um, all of your knowledge and combine it with all these incredible, um, you know, combo therapies that you often resort to. Now, let's chat exosomes in skincare. Could you explain what exosomes are and how they're redefining the skincare industry? Yeah, in a simple word, exosomes are delivery messengers. So an exosome is something that's an extracellular vesicle. It's something made by a cell. So a cell has information it wants to communicate to other cells. So it packages that information into a vesicle, sends it out of the cell, and then it goes along and gets delivered to where it wants. Once it delivers that message, it's gone. So think of it as mailing a letter in an envelope. The exosome is the envelope. It's the content of the letter that makes that information powerful or potentially dangerous. So an exosome in and of itself isn't good or bad. It's just a delivery mechanism. It's what the payload of that vesicle is. So it could be cancer information, things that are harmful. And that's why the FDA has a lot of questions about exosomes and limits its use. So a lot of uh, work that's being done with exosomes has to be done super carefully, both in what 
they're actually calling exosomes and how they're using them. And the FDA definitely doesn't want us to do certain things with them. I'm so glad you brought it up because that's your, what's the worst part, right? Exosomes yeah. can also contain, to your point, things we don't want, such as, Absolutely. This, such as the stem cell donor's DNA and the lack of safety data and FDA approval are what make exosomes in serums and creams such a contentious trend. For example, a 2022 study published in the journal Stem Cells International suggested that exosomes taken from cancer cells can fuel tumor growth, which is, why, which is why screening the health of donors is incredibly important. So thank you for bringing that up. Now let's move on to carbon dioxide therapy for vulva, vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah. You've spoken in the past regarding the importance of sexual wellness for women. How is CO2 lift playing a role in addressing these issues? Yeah, I talk a lot. I, I give a lot of advice to my female patients. I think that women having regular orgasms is really important for our health and well-being, and it's so underrated. I have some women who are either widows or divorced or they're a little bit older. When I talk to them about vibrators, they all giggle, and then sometimes when they go and they actually listen, they come back, and you can see they look more radiant. It's incredible. But the estrogen depletion that happens over time can cause dryness, change in that tissue that can lead to pain during sex, lack of desire for sex, thinning of that skin that can even cause some spotting. So what I found with the carboxy vaginal treatments is that you do a series of these treatments and what it's doing is it's affecting the circulation, the microcirculation of that area. It improves things like urinary incontinence. It improves stress incontinence in many patients. It helps with sexual pleasure, even enhancing the pleasure that women have and the desire for them to have sex because it's not painful anymore. So all of those things go beyond that and they can affect relationships and just how comfortable you are in the world. I haven't seen anything that does no harm that's non-invasive, that has this level of enhancement for such a sensitive area that so many women are taught to just forget about. And I sort of want to reawaken that because I, I think that it is part of life and it is part of longevity and it's really important for women. There's no age at which having a sense of confidence about sex and pleasure should end. It, it's, it should be at death's door, like when you're ready to just hang it up. What Thank you, you for saying that. that. You just made a lot of women feel extremely comfortable for thinking the same thing because I'm right there behind you in, <laughs> in, those, in that sentiment. Now, moving on to more proprietary uses of carboxy therapy. So carbon dioxide therapy for hair rejuvenation, um, also known as carboxy therapy, which is trending right now. It's the medical procedure that involves the therapeutic use of carbon dioxide gas for various dermatological and cosmetic purposes. Now, I understand that CO2 lift is currently investigating the benefits of hair rejuvenation. Uh, what would your thoughts be on how this could help considering it increases blood supply to the area applied? Yeah, you nailed it. That's exactly what it is. When we look at what works to help grow hair, even looking at things like minoxidil, which people are taking by mouth, and I'm very cautious about that. I'm not a big fan of it. I know it's, it's seriously trending right now, but that can cause fluid around the heart. It can cause peripheral edema, which is swelling of the legs. It, it's not specific to the scalp. It can grow hair on the body. And yet people are taking this because hair is very tightly bound to our self-esteem. And having thick flowing hair, it's an immediate uh, note to somebody else that this person is fertile and they're youthful, even though in reality, it's, it's not that, but it's instinctual. So it's hardwired into our DNA to see hair as a very important accessory. So, but all these treatments that we're doing for hair essentially just improve blood flow and oxygen supply to the hair follicles. So adding something like carboxy therapy makes perfect sense. Again, no downtime, not burning the skin, it's not painful, and it has a lasting benefit beyond just when it's on the scalp. So in my office, I do a lot of laser treatments. I use pe topical peptides that I've created that can help grow hair and stimulate the follicle. And I think in combination, it works well. But if you can now add this extra step that's cost-effective, accessible, long-lasting, and safe, it's a no-brainer for me because I'm going to supplement. And not just for people who have 
and the genetic or the genetic patterns of hair loss, but I want it for people who have scarring hair loss. There's a huge issue of women as they approach menopause where they get fibrosis and scarring along the frontal hairline that pushes the hairline back. And once the follicle is scarred, it doesn't grow back. But what I've seen is if I could stop that or get the hair around it to wake up and grow because it's stunned, not lost, then we can grow hair. So I want to be super aggressive about this, especially when I have something that is safe and no downtime. This is fascinating. And I love what this means for the future of CO2 lift. And you're right. The science is the science. Adequate mm -hmm. oxygenation is essential for cellular metabolism and the health of hair follicles. And carbon dioxide enhances blood circulation when applied to the scalp, therefore improving blood flow. And that ensures that hair follicles receive that adequate supply of oxygen and nutrients, promoting a healthier environment for hair growth. I'm like your perfect student. It all just clicked <laughs> and made sense to me. Now, look, I love that legitimately because i love this product for me yeah. i've been using it on my skin i have metal in my face yeah. from a trip and fall accident um over a con edison wire cover uh in 2012 i don't do any kind of injections there because i don't know who who's going to be handling me so this non-invasive you know treatment uh that i discovered in co2 lift and the vaginal i love both these products and just recently i had explant surgery and i've been using it on my open wounds um on i had a natural lift done by dr rankin a total explant and it's fantastic it, yes. i mean listen it stimulates the production of collagen a protein right. that provides structure to the skin and hair increased collagen contributes to the overall strength and vitality of the hair it it, it all kind of fits you know fits the bigger pattern i'm getting really excited about this we have a <laughs> two minutes left. Now let's talk about the latest applications uh, and use cases of carboxytherapy outside of that. So carboxytherapy seems to have diverse applications. We talked, we touched a little bit on the hair, but how has carboxytherapy evolved over the years and what combo therapies involving CO2 lift are you most excited about? Yeah, that's perfect because that's exactly where I was going. The two things that they're studying with it and well, there's many things, but one of the things I'm really excited about because it's such a common condition is diabetic ulcers. So people with diabetes have issues with circulation and when they get an ulcer in their lower leg, those can get infected, can be very slow to heal. And they're finding that they have really incredibly accelerated wound healing in these patients, even with just a few applications. And the second that's super exciting for hair, for skin, for face, for wound healing, is using it as an assisted drug delivery. So whatever you put underneath that carboxy is now going to penetrate better and more evenly, which could be good or bad, right? You have to know what you're putting underneath it because you're gonna drive that in more and hold it in place. So if I'm trying to grow hair and I use an ingredient like topical minoxidil or peptides, I know I'm going to reach the follicles better. And that's, that's going to help that. With wound healing, if you use other wound healing agents and you put the carboxy on top, it's great for that. I combine it sometimes after doing in-office treatments as, a, as an add-on to help give them that extra glow. And one of my favorite ways to use it is for brides who are getting married or someone who has a major event because they come in, there's no downtime. I know they're not going to react to it, but they're going to look glowy and dewy and just radiant for their big day. So there's so many different uses that go from something as simple as wanting to look better for an event to something as profound as growing hair, improving stress incontinence, healing a wound better, helping somebody get back to their activities of daily living in a more timely manner and to, to have that benefit of better health and longevity. I love it. I just got inspired. I think we're going to we're going to coin neurocosmetics for CO2 lift because neurocosmetics is going to explore the mind body connection and wearing a face mask or massaging on moisturizer has always felt relaxing, but skincare is going to try to take that calming effect to a higher soothing level. And the upper layers of the skin contain sensory receptors called Merkel cells that we're going to see yeah. more treatments focused on the brain skin connection and looking into how simple sensory stimulation can improve overall well-being. And voila, a new category has emerged, neurocosmetics. And also, I, I just, my last book is called Rebooting the Biome, and it's about the microbes in the skin, the skin microbiome. And there is a gut-brain skin connection. So I think it goes in lots of different directions. And that neural connection, you're so right. 
now I'm inspired by this all. <laughs> You're, you are inspiring. This is fun. Um, it, that connection is so powerful and so important. That's why with the vaginal component of it, where people don't want to talk about it out loud, being able to do it in my lab coat as a doctor in the office, giving the women the, the power to understand that, yes, how I feel, what I want to do in my life matters. Caring about your hair and having a full head of hair matters. Wanting to have beautiful, healthy, radiant skin, that does matter. It's not frivolous. It's not vain. It really does speak to health and how you communicate in the world, both externally and to yourself, to have the confidence to go out and live and, and try things that you really want to, to try and, and not be afraid of anything or feel like you're not worthy of something. It, the levels of that neural connection are so deep and so profound that I think it is a, a whole other level of conversation and, and, uh, and study. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about that in the next interview. But definitely neurocosmetics, it brings one example um, in ingredients that create cooling and warming sensations when massaged into the skin. And that's exactly what we're talking about, whether it's the CO2 lift mask applied uh, you know, subcutaneously for 45 minutes as a monotherapy or inserted vaginally. That's the cooling sensation we're talking about between having these cosmetics and the, 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 the neuroscience behind it. So we just discovered a whole new, uh, a whole new concept love here, it. Dr. Day. I love it too. We are <laughs> out of time. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks we for can talk me. for hours. You are incredible and so, so easy. And, and you explain things in such a, you're in such a great way. Of course, you're a leader in your field. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That was our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. That was the incredible Doris Day. You can head directly to her website at dorisdaymd.com or check her out on the gram at Dr. Doris Day. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. We'll be right back after this. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can reverse this aging process with CO2 Lift. CO2 Lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2 Lift lift.com.